So today we're going to be talking about the MTA's relatively new, or at least in the midst of being rolled out Omni system. So you've probably all at this point seen the little Omni readers on buses at subway stops. They are at every subway stop now. I think they're on all buses too. So they're in that phase of the sort of rollout. And what Omni is, is it's the MTA's contactless payment system. So they switched over to that. They sort of, I think, came up with that idea during COVID, and they're in the process of switching the entire MTA Metro card system over to contactless payment. So anything that involves that contactless payment system that they're switching over to is going to be called Omni. And what Omni actually stands for is One Metro New York. So it's just a sort of shortened cute acronym for that. So eventually every payment when you board any bus or subway is going to be contactless. So I wanted to give you sort of a heads up about that so you can get used to that process before they switch all the way over in what should be next year. It might be a little bit later because it's been a little delayed. But a lot of these features, they're rolling out um, along the way so you can get used to them as we go. So the two things I want to make sure you're able to do today are know how to do contactless payment if you're paying full fare, just regular fare, you're going through the turnstile, um, you want to pay without having to go and get a Metro card and everything, you have a contactless payment method that you want to use. So we're going to talk about that and how you can do that. And then the other thing, which is a little more complicated, but it is um, a cool benefit once you get it set up, is I'm going to show you how to connect your reduced fare card to a contactless payment system. So instead of having to swipe your reduced fare card or add value to it or anything like that, you can just use a contactless payment like your digital wallet or like a card with the little wireless symbol on it to pay your half price fare, your reduced price fare. So we're gonna look at that too. And all of this is just to make this a little bit more convenient for you and to let you get used to the new technology. You may already be doing some of these things, and if you are, that's great. The first thing we want to talk about is if you're paying regular fare. So you're just going through the line, going through the turnstile. It's not reduced fare benefits. So if you're doing this, there's a number of different ways that you can pay for that standard fare or ride 275, okay? You can use a credit card, a debit card, or a prepaid card that has this little um, logo on it. We'll talk about that further. It's not logo, it's icon on it. You can use a digital wallet that's either on your phone or your wearable device like a Apple Watch, or you can use an actual Omni card. And that is a, a next step in the Omni rollout process, so we'll talk about where that is right now. These two are going to be the ones that really benefit you right now. So if you have a credit card, a debit card, or any kind of prepay card with this contactless logo, this is like the universal contactless symbol. It's a system where you can hold your card or whatever has that logo on it near one of those readers and without having to slide it, without having to insert it or anything like that, it'll just pick up your payment method. Just take out your credit card, debit card, prepaid card, tap it to the thing about two inches, wait for it to light up green in your set, and it'll show up as a payment on that card. So this is just an example of what that looks like. So you see here with this card, she's got the symbol on there, you're holding it there, the back of the card, about two inches away from the reader, turns green and you're good to go. So that's easy. You don't have to have a Metro card. You can just whip out your card as you're going through the turnstile. That's what I tend to do these days. And most cards have this contactless payment symbol on it. I actually have one that hasn't upgraded to that yet. And it feels very like kind of clunky, but most of them. So if you have a digital wallet set up on your smartphone or on a wearable device or any sort of device, you can also use that to pay with Omni, okay? So we talked about digital wallets in a prior tech talk. So we, we're not going to go in right now to setting up a digital wallet because we did that class on it before. So I just want to say, like, check out that class if you want to set up a digital wallet. It's a cool thing to do. Then you have this on hand all the time. You just, you have your phone in your hand anyway. So you can go ahead and just wipe your digital wallet on there. So if you have a digital wallet already set up, what you're going to do is open up your digital wallet when you're about to go through the turnstile. And then you'll select which card you want to use if you have more than one card on there. And then you'll tap the back of your device to the Omni reader, just like with the card, so within two inches. Um, it might have you enter a PIN number. It probably will have you enter a PIN number um, on your phone just to unlock that card, just as an extra security measure. But if you have a digital wallet setup that is linked to um, a wearable device, 
you just do the exact same thing. You make sure it's turned on and you scan the back of it. So here, this is just an example of how you would scan that. So you have um, your digital wallet up, you have the card you want, and you hold it there and the light will turn green and you're on your way. And again, this is how you would do it with something like an Apple Watch, any sort of watch that's connected to your phone. I don't think like Fitbits do it, but I think some of the more, maybe some of the Fitbits will do it. But more like the Apple Watch or like the Samsung Watch, those you can set that up on there. And so you just turn your wrist and go, boop, you've probably seen people do it. So that is sort of up-to-date and useful methods to do that now. These are the ones that they've rolled out, they've kind of perfected. So doing it with a card or doing it with a digital wallet is pretty straightforward at this point. They're in the phase of rolling out this Omni card. So what that is, is if you prefer not to use, or if you don't have a debit card or a credit card or a digital wallet, um, they still want you to be able to have a way to get on the subway, right? So the Omni card is basically going to take the place of the Metro card eventually. So in 2024, it, it'll take the place of the Metro card and it'll be contactless. The thing about it right now, though, is that they haven't rolled them all the way out. So you can't actually get Omni cards at MTA stations, which is kind of strange, right? You have to get them at like Walgreens, CVS, 7-Eleven, various tech casting places, and they cost $5. I think they're trying to still sort of iron out how this works. If I were you, this is just my tip, is to kind of wait until that gets a little bit more streamlined to get an Omni card, unless you really, really need that. But you can still use Metro cards right now. So I would kind of wait until that transition gets a little bit farther. But if you are interested in that, there's a link here to find out where retail locations are for this Omni card. So it's omni.info slash retail hyphen locations. Yeah, this is a good option if you don't have another one of these options to use. And you can refill it online as well. We'll probably talk about Omni cards a little bit more in Pack Talk as they get more standardized. Okay, and then when you have an Omni card, you use it just like you would a debit or a credit card on the Omni Reader, just on the Omni Reader. It's not like actually a debit or credit card. It's just a contactless vector card, basically. So you hold it two inches again from the reader and wait for it to turn green. One of the things too is when they do the entire switchover, which is supposed to be next year, there will be Omni machines at MTA stations so you, that you can refill your card. So they'll be more convenient once the whole system is up and running. I'm saying all these things about like parts of this are really in motion, parts of this are not. What is the benefit of using Omni right now? I can just say for myself, I find it way more convenient than having to get a Metro card every time. So. I just pull out my contactless payment card and, and boop and go. And when the train is coming and I can hear it and, you know, it's just, it's so much easier. It's pretty foolproof. So I've had a good experience with that. So convenience, right? Also just getting a head start for when this does become, you know, the system as opposed to the current orange Metro card system. So you'll have a sort of a leg up in terms of um, knowing how to navigate this system. The other thing too, is you can take advantage of this thing that's relatively new, it's called the fair tapping program. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that in a couple of slides. And this saves you money, it's helpful. Okay, so fair capping, something they decided to do sort of on a citywide level. So whenever you use, this is just for when you pay with Omni, not when you pay with a swiping Metro card, when you pay with the Omni reader. If you take 12 Omni trips in a week, starting at midnight or starting the very beginning of Monday, right? That's when the clock starts. If you take 12 rides after Monday, then every ride you take after that, that week will be free, okay? So let's say, you know, you go back and forth six days and then on Sunday, you get your rides for free. All right, so if you did two rides every day for those six days, whatever you did on Sunday would be free. Or if you do multiple rides in multiple days, it just adds up. Once you get past 12, those rides are free. This is true for both full fare, if you're paying full fare, or if you're a reduced fare rider, okay? So if you do 12 reduced fare rides from starting on Monday, then your rides after that will be free. To note, to, to qualify for this fare capping, you do have to be paying with that Omni reader. So you can't use a traditional Metro card for that. You have to be paying with the contactless payment, all right? The other thing that is also a little tricky, and they might iron this out in the future, but maybe not, you have to use the same method of payment every single time for those 12 rides in order for them to all add up. My suggestion is to just have one way that you pay with Omni, right? That you pay for 
your subway fare or your bus fare or anything having to do with the MC. I just set up like this is the card I use for that, or this is the card in my digital wallet I use for that. Because that'll make it easier to make sure you're doing the same payment method every time. And, you know, that's adding up for fare cutting. One notable thing, too, and we'll talk about this a little bit with the reduced fare, is if you have a card, like a physical card that is a contactless payment card, that doesn't count as the same thing as the exact same card in your digital wallet, okay? So when you're doing this, either choose to use your physical card or the card in your digital wallet. If you use both of them, those won't add up in the same way, okay? So just pick a method, stick with that method, and you should be able to benefit from fare capping. If you currently have reduced fare metro card benefits, how do you make the Omni system work for you? So how do you make it so you can actually use a um, context of payment card or a digital wallet to pay your reduced fare price. Because if you just walk through otherwise and scan it, you're going to be paying full fare. So you have to set it up so that your contactless payment method is linked with your reduced fare benefits. So every time you go through, it's going to be that 135 as opposed to 275. Within the past couple of months, this is a new feature of the Omni system. And I have heard that it works fairly well once it gets set up. Actually quite well once it gets set up. If you're somebody who thinks you might qualify for reduced fare benefits, so if you're 65 plus or if you have a disability, there are certain qualifying disabilities, you can apply for reduced fare benefits. What we're talking about right now is people who currently have a reduced fare metro card that you get sent in the mail. But I just wanted to give you this information. If you think you might qualify for that, there's a link to apply. You can either apply online or by mail or in person. Actually, you can go to certain stations and apply in person. So there's the link there. But if you currently have reduced fare, this is for you. If you want to switch to Omni for your reduced fare metro card so that you can use the contactless payment method of your choice, you have to first start by making an account on the Omni website. Eventually, this is going to be an app, but right now it's just a website. This is just like the first step in linking your reduced fare benefits to a contactless payment method. All right. So you're going to go to omni.info. So open your whatever browser you're using. So whatever internet, whether it's on your phone or another device, and just type in omni.info. All right. And you should see a screen that looks similar, if not exactly like this. And you're going to click where it says menu. Again, this is to set up an Omni account so that you can then link your reduced fare to a payment method. So once you hit menu, you should see this button down here that says register. So once you do that, you're going to follow the steps to register. It's very, very simple. If you have a Google account, you can just sign in with your Google account. And that'll come up and show you your Google account. You just select your Google account and it'll get you right in there. If you don't have Google or Apple and don't want to sign in with either of those, just go ahead and put your email address in and enter a password twice. And it's one of those where they're like, you have to have eight characters and an uppercase. So if you have Google, I would just go ahead and log in with that. A little bit easier, but either way, however you want to do it is fine. And then once you've done that, you're going to hit next. All right. And so if you did it with um, Google or you did it with Apple, you should see this screen pop up right after you select your account. Um, if you entered a email address and a password, you will get a link to your email to confirm. Um, and you'll just go to your email and click on that. And then you should see this screen that says your Omni account has been activated. Okay. So that's your first step. That's the first thing you need to do there. And then they've made this sort of digital assistant to help you through the process of switching your reduced fare metro card over to an Omni payment method. So once you're here, you're going to click down here where it says Omni Assistant, and the digital assistant screen should pop up to help sort of guide you through the process. And you should have your reduced fare metro card on you when you're doing this, right? You're going to need the number on the back of it in order to make this work. So you should have that card. It's got your, I think they still have pictures on them. And this works whether you have a reduced fare for a disability or you're 65 plus. These are for any reduced fare card. You're going to go to the digital assistant. It's going to say, hey, Francis, because I told them what my name was. And it's going to say your name. And you're going to click here where it says switch from reduced fare metro card to Omni when it asks you how it can help you today. All right. So click on that one. And then it should say, can you provide your reduced fare ID number? So it's found on the back of your metro card below your name. So it should be right there. So just enter that. 
into the chat box and hit enter. And once you've done that, it's going to ask you what method you want to use to pay for your reduced fair fare when you go through. Okay. So you can use, like we said before, so a digital wallet, a contactless card, or you can wait for an Omni card later in the year. And we'll talk about that in a second. But for right now, we're just sort of assuming you want to do one of these two. Okay. So pick the one that you want to use and keep in mind that you need to use that form of payment every single time. That's the one that's going to give you the reduced fare price, okay? So if you have a digital wallet, use one card on your digital wallet, which is not going to be the same thing as the physical card of that same card. So if you want to use a physical card, choose that one. But just do the same thing every time and make sure it's the one that you've linked to this account, okay? All right, so choose which one you want. It'll have you linked to your digital wallet and the card that you want to use for that if you're using a digital wallet. If you choose to pay with a contactless card, they're going to ask you to enter your card information. So go ahead and do that. And once it gives you this green check, you are free to use that payment method that you've selected to pay the reduced price and price fair. So you should be able to, right after that, go down to the subway or the bus stop, tap whatever contactless method you've decided on, and that should charge you the 135 as opposed to 275. So just to, as a reminder, you're going to tap just like you would if you were using a contactless debit or credit card, or just like if you were using your wallet to pay full fare. It's just that that will be then linked and it'll pay 135 instead of 275. And if you have any value left over on your reduced fare method card, it's not like that shuts it off. Like if switching over to Omni doesn't shut off your metro card, it's not like you can't use that anymore. So if you have a balance that you need to spend down, feel free to do that. You don't want to just like lose that money. But yeah, one doesn't shut off the other. Having the Omni form of it just makes it a little more convenient. One more thing about the rollout. If you don't want to link your reduced fare benefits to a digital wallet or a card, you can wait on these reduced fare Omni cards that should be coming out later in the year. Again, you know, this might take a little bit longer than they've expected. Things take time. I don't know much about them at this point because there isn't much information about what these reduced fare Omni physical cards are going to be like. But as they come out, we can plan to do more tech talks about that if that's something you're interested in. And I'm happy to share that information with you. But for right now, those aren't circulating yet. Again, they're like the full fare Omni cards. They're kind of in transition right now. So your best bet right now, if you want to pay contactless, is to either use a digital wallet or a contactless payment method like a card. Okay, and then this is just some follow-up information. If you want to learn more about Omni, I actually have some pretty good videos about signing up for this too. So if you want to check that out, you can go to this link. For assistance for anything related to Omni, you can call this number. It's 877-789-6669, and they're open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m seven days a week. And it says send a request by Omni.info. So basically that little chat, that chat assistant, you can ask questions in there too. So if you have a question about registering and setting things up or getting your car card in there, or you're having any problems with it, you can either call or you can send a request through the chat and they should connect you with somebody if you have a question they can't answer on their own. We'll follow up on this as more of this rolls out. Again, it's a sort of work in progress and things will become hopefully more straightforward along the way, but also, you know, there'll be other ways of doing this. You'll have the physical Omni card if that's what you want. Thank you so much for joining me.